Now this stuff looks just like dental floss, but it's actually a professional grade pipe thread sealant they can use on your gas and water plumbing applications around the house. I had never heard about this until a couple weeks back when a few of you viewers pointed out in one of our Teflon tape testing videos. And I guarantee about 99% of homeowners haven't heard of it, but is this a better option? And how does it stack up to the other methods of sealing up those pipe threads? Here was our testing setup last time, just using our shower arms to shower heads, but it only created about 15 PSI of pressure. I wanna go a lot higher this time, so we need to take the shower heads off and the shower arms so we can cap off each one of these elbows and make sure we're getting closer to 50 to 60 PSI of pressure to really put it to the test. So first step is gonna be the Loctite 55, and there is a little chart here on the back which says the size of pipe and then how many turns you should do. We have half inch galvanized pipe nipples we're using so we're going to go six to eight terms. Remember, that should be in the clockwise direction. Most of the other products you'll use on threads like this are a Teflon base. This one is actually a polyamide thread and it's coated with Loctite's proprietary paste. What's that paste made of? I don't know, but we'll see how good it works here on the first of our four circuits. Now, each one of these will have actually two threaded fittings, one going from the elbow to the nipple and the other one from the nipple to the cap. You don't have to get the thread down in each of the grooves, but it seems to lay down a little bit better if you do, maybe with one or two turns doubling back along the length of the threads. Next up is just standard Teflon tape, again, clockwise direction. Number three is a premium Teflon tape, and that is Blue Monster, which has performed well in the past. And the last one was my favorite from our last test, and that is Teflon tape with the pipe dope or the thread sealant on the outside. And kind of that combination is preferred by about a third of our audience in the past. So now we're ready to test and we will not have flow like we did last time. Now we're just gonna be pressurizing and capping all these off and I wanna get close to 60 PSI. I had to do a little adjustment at my well and I did notice that the on off switch that turns on the well pump was set pretty low. So with a little bit of adjustments, we went ahead and we were able to get that up to close to 60 PSI and then at our test stand, you can see we're right over 60 PSI. So now we'll pressurize things for 30 minutes and see where do we have the failures. So we've been running for about an hour and just confirming we were holding the pressure the whole time. So all of these have been put to the test, about 60 PSI. We'll go with the old favorite here, Teflon tape and the pipe dope. Looking at the threads, we don't see any drips on either end. So I'd say that one has passed. And then for the blue monster, you guys will see links in the description or you can just scan this QR code if you're watching on your TV for references to each of these products. And that one looks good for the blue monster. Now, Teflon tape, 50% of you guys just use Teflon tape around the house. That is not looking good and we have a drip at the bottom. So we have a slow leak, kind of a classic leak, especially at the shower arm fitting. That is a classic DIY mistake, just using Teflon tape and having a hard time sealing up the shower arm. And then our Loctite 55, the new competitor. How's it stack up? No drips on either side. So for the second test in a row, we're showing the most popular option. Half of you guys, as voted on by the viewers, use Teflon tape. That's your worst option. Pretty much any other option here is gonna be better and give you better results. I'm still a big fan of the Teflon tape and pipe dope, but if I can have a single product that gives me gas and water sealing, that is a win. So I'm gonna to continue to test out the Loctite 55, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments.